All right, guys, let's see here. I had to go grab some coffee real quick, give people a chance to get in here. And we are coming up on the five minute mark, so we are gonna get started here in about half a, half a minute-ish. Looks like we got one person in. Thanks for stopping by. Happy Thanksgiving. Belated a little bit. Still eating leftovers, so it counts. All right, let's get underway here. Uh, start things off with the 69 Chiefs at 4-9 and 1 against the 2006 Chargers 8 and 6. And somehow Kansas City comes away with that one. Let's take a look at the highlights and see what transpired here. I currently have no desktop audio. So let me see if I can figure out why that is. Looks like everything's set to the headset. Are normal. Set for a headset also. What is going on here? I am having all kinds of issues with my streaming this morning, and I don't understand why. I have not changed anything from the last time I did this. Desktop audio active, headset active. I am not quite sure what's going on. Hey D, how's it going, Bo? Do you not have, you can't hear the game, right? Like you didn't hear anything on that play, did you? Or did you see the play? I just, I don't understand how people do this for a living. Like, it, is, it just drives me so crazy. Well. I can't figure out what is different, though, because my audio says... Headphones, headphones, and I don't hear it in my headphones either. And then when I go to my normal audio output, it's so it's showing headphone also. But I don't hear anything in my headset from the game either. But I've not really changed any settings. Let's see. Let's do this. Close that out. Try this again here. I, I changed nothing. Just closed the game and reopened it. And now I hear it. I, I don't. Just like last night with the noobs and the sweats, I have no words. Alright, let's try this again here. Off we go. Hut, hut, hut. It's actually a little loud now. Alright, now we're underway. I changed some graphic settings at the end of the last stream that I think has actually made the game a little smoother. Touchdown. 
and the players are bigger as well, so hopefully that helps on stream for you guys to see it. It's time to kill some morning noobs, huh? Well, good luck finding them. Well, that's not good. Turner's going to return that for a touchdown. All right, 17 to 10 Chiefs, Chargers score to Turner, and that'll tie up the game. Chargers going to take the lead with a field goal. McVee up the middle for the touchdown, Mc McVay, McVee, I'm not sure how he says it. Uh... The Chiefs lead at halftime 24-20, which is a lot of scoring. McCardle for the touchdown. Chargers take the lead 27-24. Plenty of bots. <laughs> Is that what I'm doing wrong? Do I need to start streaming in the evenings and playing Fortnite in the mornings? Is that, is that what I need? Chiefs retake the lead 30 to 27. Long field goal to tie it up. Plenty of leg. Minute 11 left and the Chiefs kick a field goal to take a 33-30 lead. Chiefs, uh, Chiefs on fourth down trying to stop them, and they force an incompletion, and that'll do it. Kansas City 33, San Diego 30. Next we have the 2007 Patriots at 8 and 6, and the 53 Lions at 5 and 9. And, ooh, the Patriots squeak it out. Holy week of non-defense. So after one, it's seven to nothing. You think it's going to be a defensive struggle a little bit, but apparently the gates open at some point. I always do better at fork in the morning. Walker with the touchdown. 17-7 Patriots. Seventeen fourteen Patriots. Maroney extends the lead twenty four fourteen. It's blocked. It's blocked. Detroit gets a block punt. And apparently only get a field goal out of it. Cuts it to a seven point game, twenty four seventeen Patriots. Goskowski makes a 27-17. Patriots trying to keep a 10-point lead here. Gerard returns it for a touchdown. That'll get him within three. And that'll get him a lead. 31-27, Detroit. Larry on the return for the Lions, and he'll return it one man to beat for a touchdown. Uh, I don't think we got any bowling today. 38-27 Lions. Two minutes left in the fourth quarter. Put, put. 
Touchdown Patriots. Onside kick. And somehow the Patriots get it. Screen pass to Maroney for the touchdown and the win. 39-38. Patriots squeak it out. Next we have the 64 Bills at 6-8 and, and the 72 Dolphins at surprisingly 3-11. And, and the Dolphins able to get that one. <laughs> yeah, perhaps. There's a tournament going on on a sports shot, but uh, my the guy I'm supposed to bowl with and I are gonna do the tenth, seven o'clock squad. For, it's a Friday night, but we are. I mean, you can bowl it as many times as you want. So that's not to say I won't bowl it before that, but we'll see. Zonka takes it in for the touchdown to give the Dolphins the lead. Dominion. I guess that's how you say that. The score to give the Bills the lead. Morris in for the touchdown. Happy belated Thanksgiving to anyone that uh, I did not tell that to before. Thanks for hanging out this morning. And that's where it'll end. Dolphins 21, Bills 10. 72 Dolphins improve their record to 4 and 11, but I don't think they're going to have enough to get to playoffs. Next, we got the 2000 Ravens at 6 and 8, and the 2015 Panthers at 7 and 7. And the Panthers squeak it out. 20 to 16. See how it happened. It's good. Ah, sounds good, D. While you do some fishing. I appreciate it. Lurkers, welcome. I wish changing the title would update, you know, the stream to separate that into a new uh, video for M for export to YouTube, but it apparently it does not do that. So. Normally I have to stop streams and then start it back with whatever I'm going to do next, but I think we're going to do, I think we're going to do a, a Legends and a Community Fantasy track on NASCAR after this. Call it a Thanksgiving special, if you will. To do it at a super speedway, a fantasy super speedway. Norman with the interception. Stewart off the right side, and he's gone. My back is itching like crazy today. Lewis for the touchdown. Stewart's in again. Ooh, Harper with the interception. Dilfer's in trouble. 
No, he gets it off. Man, Harper with another pick. Secures the win. 2016 Panthers. Next, we have the 75 Steelers at 9-5 and, and the 99 Titans at 6-8. and eight. And the Steelers come away with the win there. Franco Harris off the right side for the touchdown to start the scoring. Ten to three Steelers. Bradshaw over the middle to Starworth for another touchdown. Bradshaw back to pass again. Touchdown to Brown. Ooh, turnover. three out of that though so it didn't hurt him too bad count off the left side for a touchdown back to within 10 Samari roll with the pick oh it's a pick six too look at that to tie it up And it's good. It's good. Hut, hut, hut. Steelers for a three point lead. It's good. Hut, hut, hut. Del Greco to tie it up. It's good. Hut, hut, hut. Touchdown Steelers. Oh, Allen with the interception. That'll secure the Steelers win. 34-27 the final. Next we have the 58 Colts at 6 and 8 and the 2008 Cardinals at 5 8 and 1. The Cardinals squeak it out by five. Take a look and see how it happened. It's good. Colts on the board first. Unitas back to pass. He'll go deep right. Much seller with the touchdown. Cardinals get on the board finally. It's good. Hut, hut, hut. Warner scrambles away from pressure and throws it deep. Fitzgerald comes up with it. And he's gone. That'll tie the game with the extra point. Uh oh, they're showing a kickoff. That can't be good for the kicking team. Lyles, one man to beat, and he beats him. Cardinals cut it to four. Warner to Fitzgerald again. That'll take the lead. Mutscheller with another touchdown. The Colts take back the lead. Cardinals get it to one. Cardinals take the lead. The 
Colts retake the lead. Touchdown to Fitzgerald, third of the day. Fourth down for the Colts. Throws it deep. And could not connect. Cardinals take over and they'll take a knee. And that'll do it. 32-27 the final. Cardinals take it. Next we have the 99 Jaguars at 6-8 and eight, and the 68 Jets at 8-6. And, and the Jets take it. Not words you hear a lot, unfortunately. Jets take it. Jacksonville on the board first. Namath back to pass. Deep left. Maynard catches it for the touchdown. Smith. Jaguars retake the lead. Jets with an interception. Gets by the quarterback. Good return. And that'll tie the game. 10 to 10 at halftime. Namath deep left. Maynard again. Namath out to the right this time. Sawyer. Sauer. Sawyer. I'm not sure how that's pronounced. Snell for the touchdown. Fourth down for the Jags. Screen pass to Stewart. And he's knocked out of bounds. No oh, interception in the end zone. Ooh, incomplete. And that'll do it. 31 to 10, the final. Next, we have the 93 Oilers at 11 and 3, and the 50 Browns at 3 and 11. I would not have guessed that at all. The Browns take it in the snow. Motley up the middle for the touchdown. Browns extend the lead to 10. Moon back to pass. He'll hit Slaughter for the touchdown. Groza with a long field goal. That's good. Otto Graham out to the left. Jones with the touchdown. Moon back to pass. Go deep right. Baumgartner up the middle for the touchdown. And Moon throws the interception. Looks like the Oilers did not play well in the snow at all. And they fall to 11-4. and four. Not going to dash their playoff hopes, I don't believe. I think they're pretty safe there. Next, we got the 98 Broncos, 10 and 4, and the 67 Raiders at 9 and 5. And the Raiders take it to even the records in the division game. That is something the Raiders needed there. 
LaMonica scrambles up the middle for the touchdown. Elway intercepted. Monica to Miller. Elway to Davis, and he'll throw to Sharp for the touchdown. Over the middle. Touchdown to Wells. And the Broncos add a field goal right before half to make it 21 to 10. It's good. Elam's kick is good, 21-13. Lamonica in trouble, he'll scramble and he'll get in for the touchdown. Oh, Davis with the fumble, Lannis, Lass, Lassiter, if I can speak, with the return. Dixon up the middle for a touchdown. The Raiders putting it on the Broncos. That was fourth down. They got it back again, drove it to the one. And Green scores the touchdown, and that'll do it. 35-21 Raiders. Next, we have the 71 Cowboys at 8-5-1, and, and the 86 Giants at 7-7. Seven and, seven. and the Giants get the win, 23-17. Carson with the interception. Sims back to pass, out to the right. Johnson with the touchdown. Garrison off the left side, and he's gone. Fifty five yards. Garrison up the middle again. I should have just handed to him every time. Holy smokes. He's gone again. This one for 66 yards. Sims out to the right to Robinson and he gets free. Oh, he fumbles. Look out. Green with the interception. Dallas adds three, 17 to 10. Cowboys. Sims to Bavaro, he fumbles, but they keep the ball. Screen pass to Morris, he gets a first down. Sims out to the left, touchdown to Robinson. That ties up the game and in overtime Sims out right to Bavaro for the win. 23-17 in overtime. Next we have the 72 Redskins at 2 and 12 and the 99 Rams at 9 and 5. Wow, no upset here, but what a <laughs> what a low-scoring game this was. The Rams late in the first quarter with the field goal. And it's good. It's good. Warner back to pass. He's intercepted by Pardee. 
Warner back to pass. Deep right. Intercepted by Fisher. And then the Rams in field goal range again. With four seconds left. And they make it six to nothing. And that is it. That is the final six to nothing. Big time defensive game. Next we have the 69 Vikings at 10 and 4 and the 98 Falcons at 4, 9 and 1. The Falcons take it. We get the upsets, seemingly. Falcons take the lead early. Retro. <laughs> it's just a retro feel. It's actually a new game. There's a couple of others. It's like, like uh, Legend Bowl, if you haven't seen that. It's pretty good. And uh, another one called um, Sunday Rivals is pretty good. They're kind of an old school feel for both of them as well. Somewhat. I might show you those here in a second if you haven't seen them. Six to nothing, Falcons. Chandler sacked in the end zone for the safety. And there's a an NFL mod for the Legend Bowl one. But you can mod it yourself if you want to do other things as well. It's not easy to mod, but you can do it. It's blocked. Falcons block a punt. Bennett picks it up, and he'll score. It's blocked. Everything going the Falcons' way in this game. It's good. Graham with the touchdown. Too little, too late. 22-11, Falcons. And that'll be the final. Next we have the 62 Packers at 10 and 4 and the 17 Eagles at 8 and 6. And the Packers get it. Both teams slow out of the gate the first quarter. Packers on the board first. Matterly with the interception. Safety. Ooh. Eagles get two points on the safety. <clears throat> Long field goal. And it's good. McGee with a touchdown. Dowler with the touchdown. Yeah, once we get to the playoffs, we'll be doing the full games. Just regular season, we're doing the highlights after the sim. Which is a pretty cool feature that this game has. 24-5 to Packers. 31 to 5 Packers, so never really a game here. Deep right, Johnson with the touchdown. 
too little too late again and the Packers take it 31 to 12 next we got the 2002 Buccaneers at 6 7 and 1 and the 85 Bears at 9 and 5 and the Buccaneers come away with it really kind of needed that to keep their playoff hopes alive Buccaneers on the board first Bears answer Buccaneers able to get this win in this despite the snow not normally their forte being a Florida team Battle of field goals, six to six. Bears with another one to take the lead. McMahon in trouble, gets it away, and it's picked off by Barber. I'll start with the touchdown. Matica with another field goal, 16 to nine. Another field goal for the Bears. Gramatica will tack on another three. Oh no, Suey with the fumble, Lynch scoops it up. Decent return. Pittman was a fumble. Bears not able to do much with it. Tack on another three. And that'll end it. 22 to 15 Buccaneers. On we go to the 2009 Saints at 8-5-1 and, and the 81 Bengals at 7-7. Seven and, seven. and the Bengals able to pull it out when they really needed it, to be honest. Loss there would have put them in quite a bit of doubt for making the playoffs. Porter with the interception. Saints able to capitalize with a touchdown. Field goal for the Saints. Ten to nothing early. Deep middle. Colston brings it in for the touchdown. Seventeen to nothing. Saints. Breeze deep right. Breeden with the interception. Swings a little bit of momentum the Bengals way, but then they fumble it back after being in the red zone. Interception by Harper. Bell up the middle for the touchdown. Verser brings it in for the touchdown. Bengals on the board late, second quarter. Bengals with the interception. And they'll make it 24 to 10 at half. Ross over the middle, and he will score. Cuts the lead to seven, just like that. Riley with the pick. It's good. 
Bengals within four. Bengals within one to start the fourth quarter. And it stays that way to late. Curtis with a catch and a first down. Anderson gets the troops down into the red zone. And Ross with the touchdown. And that's the winner, 29-24. Come from behind win for the Bengals. Didn't look like, didn't look like they were even going to be in that game. All right, final game of the week. We got the 2013 Seahawks, 8-6, and six, against the 81 49ers at 5-9. and nine. They have struggled this season. And they are able to get the win. Could be too little too late to make the playoffs, though. Seahawks with uh, even at eight and seven with the loss still in the playoff hunt. Michael with the touchdown. That'll make it ten to nothing. Seahawks. Montana back to pass out to the right. Picked off by Chancellor. Montana over the middle to Schumann. Worshing to tie. And the 49ers before half trying to take a lead. Patton with the touchdown. Patton with another touchdown. 24 to 10. Niners. Seahawks try to cut into the lead. Backed up in their own end. Safety. Two points for the Niners. It's blocked. Seahawks block a punt. Wright picks it up. It's blocked. Bit of a return, not much. Don't do anything with it apparently. And the 49ers attack on three. Miller over the middle, touchdown. And that's all they can muster. 29-19, Niners. And we'll go to the next week and take a look at the matchups. Anything interesting here? Uh, we do have the Chargers at 8-7 and seven and the Broncos at 10-5. and five. The Broncos just lost to the Raiders this week. <clears throat> so that makes that game a little bit more interesting. Um, eight and seven Eagles and eight and seven Giants. That could be for a playoff spot. Nine and six Bears and eleven and four Packers. Eight and seven and seven seven Panthers and Buccaneers respectively. Could be interesting. Ninety nine Rams at ten and five and the. 2013 Seahawks at 8-7. and seven. Could be a struggle for the Seahawks to make the playoffs if they lose that game and go 8-8. Eight and eight. So I don't believe, yeah, this is, next week is the last regular season week. This is not an 18 game, 18 week season, 18 game season, or 17 game season I should say. As the new NFL is. So, if we go back to look at the standings, we got the 2007 Patriots and the 68 Jets knotted up at 9-6. and six. Uh, Steelers with a two-game lead over the Bengals in the north. Huge lead for the Oilers in the south. Uh, Broncos and Raiders knotted up at 10 and 5. Chargers two games behind that. 
Half game lead for the Cowboys over the Eagles and the Giants. A one game lead for the Packers over the Vikings and a two game lead over the Bears. Saints with a half a game lead over the Panthers, two and a half or two over the well, actually one half game over the Panthers, one game over the Buccaneers. 99 Rams with a two game lead over the Seahawks. So they should be okay. And that's where we're at with the dream season, season one. Well, we are going to shut that down for now, and then we'll be right back. I think we're going to do a uh, special Thanksgiving couple of NASCAR races. Hope you guys stick around for a couple minutes while I get uh, all that going, and we'll be back in just a few minutes. Peace. <laughs> 